This is part three of the Sylvania 19, mid 1960s color. In the previous video, I pulled the CRT out and it's still soaking in water probably three or four months later. Uh, in that video, I mentioned the problem that these have with the pot assemblies growing whiskers. I've done videos on it before. I'm just going to do a quick video right now. I'm going to pull the uh, the backings off the pot assemblies and we'll clean them out and paint them. I believe this one was the vertical and AGC and this one definitely has a problem and this one I think is uh, I don't remember what this is blue drive and green drive and something else. Um, this one these don't usually have a problem I think because the voltages are so high it tends just to blow the whiskers out these have more problems and cause the vertical not to run and the AGC to be clamped 100%. So I'm going to start with this one. Uh, once you've done this a few times, it's not a big deal. I even have a couple of these Sylvanias that are brand new in the box. And we've done a couple box openings and they all had the whisker problem. So it's not anything that has to do with use. It's just uh, deterioration. First thing is just pull this thing off and start disassembling it. But yeah, well you'll see. All right, what I did is I snipped this with the pliers. You can see right there where I cut it. It's not gonna hurt it. And then the next thing I've done is I've uncrimped all of these. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just unsolder the metal part and pull the metal part out and not the board. Let's see if we could see some of these whiskers here. See one right there reflecting? Right there. You can see one right there. You practically need a microscope to see these things. You can see them right there. Tin whiskers. I just clean it up and paint it. This one's even better. Look at this one. Tin whiskers. I just put a couple coats of this on them. Something I had left from something I was working on. Here's a CRT. It's still floating in water. I can feel that the the thing has not really broken down or come loose yet. Um, I put some vinegar in this at the suggestion of some people. I don't think the vinegar is actually helping uh, break the break the um, stuff down, but probably what the vinegar is doing is it's keeping the mosquitoes out of here. So, not quite ready yet. Here's a look at what it looks like. It actually kind of looks like the water is not doing anything at all to it. It doesn't look any different than it does when I put it in here several months ago, so I don't know. Oh well. Let it soak a while longer. I know the water's getting in there because when I sit it down, bubbles come out. All right, these are done. I'm going to reassemble it. Here they are back in. I'll put the little cardboard things back on them. This video really wasn't about 
the chassis restoration the main point of this series of videos was removing the safety glass because that's a problem on almost all old color TVs now so uh, it's still soaking and we're gonna let it soak for another month or so it's been soaking for basically two months or so and we'll let it keep soaking and maybe after another couple months uh, if it doesn't break loose then we'll get all the uh, riot gear out and uh, get all all dressed up for war and try and take it off by other means like a hot wire or uh, uh, heat lamps or heat gun or something far more dangerous than water so this will be part two or three I don't even know and uh, a few more months we'll We'll attack the CRT.